this is Internet View Academy, and today I'm going to be sharing with you how you can create a professional page and uh, how to also set it up after creating it. And one of the mistakes that people make is that after creating their pages, they don't take time to edit their pages to a very professional level. And at some point, that affects how viral uh, they go, and that affects how professional their pages become. So please join me on the other side of the screen as I take you through the procedures. All you need to do is to log into Facebook. After you log into Facebook, um, you go to a personal profile. Okay, here are we on our personal profile. First of all, go to a personal profile. So if you navigate through your right, your left, you will see uh, pages. You click on pages. After you click on pages, you'll see the number of pages you're managing. And you'll be able to create a page by clicking on create new page. So when you click on create new page, you will see an option where you can write the page name, the category, the bio. That's that's by following this method. But by clicking on your page profile, your personal profile picture. When you click on your personal profile picture, you'll see see all profiles. You click on see all profiles. Then you click on that, you'll see create a new profile or a page. Okay, so let's try creating from here. There's something that I want to show us. Okay, when you click on create public page, or even before that, that you can compare uh, the, the difference between a page and a personal profile. Okay, the differences are personal profile, you can connect with friends, but public page, you can't connect with friends, you can only connect with followers. And uh, on personal profile, you don't have professional tools where you can have insights and some other things. And you can also create an advert. And the difference between a personal profile and a public page is that it's only one person that will have access to the personal profile. But for a page, you can add multiple admins. Let's just try and create a new page. Uh, assuming we want to make our page to carry a name just for con. Page category. You can now select the category of your page. Okay. Depending on what your page is all about, the other under bio, I create. I, I advise that you make use of. Um, a link that you want people to visit. And let's say you have a YouTube channel and you want people to have the link to your YouTube channel. All you need to do is to go to a YouTube channel. Then from there, okay, assume we want to, you know, get the URL of this YouTube channel. You come to this Let's click on view your channel. So this will now be the URL of your channel. You come here and uh, paste it. 
YouTube channel. Okay, we are done with that. What else do we need to do? Okay, the only thing now left is for you to create. We click on create and channel. You now have your channel ready. And the only thing that is left is the setup. Okay, on that website, if you have one, you include. If you don't have one, you skip. On that phone number, okay, let's say Nigeria. Let's say this is your phone number and the email. You now you can now fill up the remaining information that are there. The next thing is for you to click on next. And uh, please take note, um, the way you customize or optimize your page determines how healthy it will be and how recommendable it will be. Okay, and uh, concerning a logo, I advise you make use of um, Canva, you generate your logo. There are many logos in Canva. Just go to Canva and search for logos. Logo. The name of our page is just for fun. Okay, logos on logos on fun. Okay, so there are many logos here. You can pick any one that is okay by you, or maybe one that is not uh, paid, anyone that is free. You can just take this one, for example. Just open. Just for fun, for example. And uh, you're now good to go. You can now download the logo. There are many logos out there that you can search just using this. After downloading the logo, here you have your logo. You now come back to your page. You want to set it up. Our logo is there from desktop. You import it. A cover photo, you can use any uh, okay, concerning cover photo, you can now come to uh, Canva as well. We search for cover photo. The cover photos that are there. Okay, for example, let's say we want to edit this and use it to something like this to see if it will fit. Okay, that is that. The next thing is to click on next. Two, two step out of five. We still have three steps. You can now link your your page to a WhatsApp. Preferably, I recommend that you make use of a business WhatsApp. Okay, after that, you now click on next. You can now invite your people or your friends to join the page. All these are steps that are needed that are to be carried out. After you're done with that, um, what else? Okay, click on next. Page notification. Okay, let's click on next. Welcome to a new page. Take some step, take some tour back okay we now have our page set up but we may need to carry out some few settings as well just click on edit let's see if there are some things that we are yet to do on our page okay bio is there okay information about the page is there edit about the page uh, in case there are some things you want to add you now add here, 
Okay, now click on add service area. If you want to edit some of these things you put. If you have a website that you want to include, you add it. And if you don't have a website, you can add your social links. Your social links are um, your social media handles like Instagram. Okay, for you to get your Instagram link, you go to Instagram. Okay, you are here on your Instagram. Um, how do you get the link to your Instagram? Uh, here is it. You click on this place. This is the link to your Instagram. You copy the link. You bring it to your Facebook page. Okay. You now click on add and change to maybe TikTok. I'll go to a TikTok account. You are there on your profile. After clicking on your profile, what you have here will not be your username. You come to this place, you add it. That's how you keep on doing it. You change from Instagram to uh, other platforms. All the platforms are there. You choose the ones that you have account with them. You edit, and after you edit, you now save them. After you click on save, I think we are done with all the basic basic information. Now your page is now ready. Your page is now live, and uh, you are good to go. Congratulations! So thank you for taking your time to interact with this content. If you have learned something from this content, please do well to give us a like and uh, drop a comment and let us know what you've learned from this content. And please do well to share this content with your loved ones. There might be some people out there who are also are interested in content like this. Thank you and bye-bye.